So we've had the break. We've had the close below 20,000. We've been talking on this channel what effect that's going to have. We're going to look at where we think Bitcoin's going to make a bottom or where it could potentially make a bottom. We're going to have a look at the Bitcoin dominance. We're going to look at the DXY. We're going to look at the USDT dominance. And then we're going to have a look at what effect that's going to have on the altcoin market. So let's Right, okay, so we got Bitcoin on the daily. We said this is not what we wanted. We didn't want the break in the close below this area that we marked out here, 19,889. A break in the close below that is going to signal weakness and come back down to test the 17,709 region. So we're either going to get a reaction from here from a double bottom and then start seeing a bit of positive price action and a set of swing highs and swing lows and a break in the close above this would mean that we're likely to move and retest the previous swing low. So that's one scenario playing out for Bitcoin. But if we do see weakness, when we do hit this level, the 17,709, um, then we're likely to come back, as we say, and test the 16,134. Why did we build in the 16,134? If you remember previously, this was the last time that price action was respected. And this goes back to... Um, July, October, November 2020. So this is just before the major bull run of 2021. And that's the last time that price was at these levels. And that's the last time price action respected these zones. So if we do get the break and the close below the 17,709, the next one that I'm looking for is 16,134. So that's Bitcoin on the daily. We'll have a quick look at the Bitcoin dominance and then check that against USDT. And we'll check it also against the um the D the dxy so let's have a look right okay what clues can the bitcoin dominance tell us let's see you've seen previously on the channel in the last episode the last couple of episodes we've marked out the previous swing low and the bitcoin dominance to the previous swing high and we were talking about this level in real time the golden ratio 618 uh, it did hold for a good week on the 618 on the daily chart here and you can see that um yeah for a full week it did hold the 618 we come back down we had this full bodied bearish candle um, that slammed us straight below the 618 and then it come back through retested and acted as strong resistance at this point so this is exactly what we said was going to happen if we did break and close below this level is we were likely to come back and test the 786 and that's going to add in confluence with the 200 uh, daily moving average so that's the likely next scenario and we're either going to come back test the 618 as resistance again which creates a double top here or um, a 50% retracement of the previous candle. So if it comes back up, potentially come back down here before it works its way down. So what it does here is what we need to look at. And that's what we need to re-examine when we get there. And that's if we get there. Like you say, the markets move how they want. The markets do whatever they want. We just stack up probabilities in our favor to let us know what the price action is likely to do next. So that's Bitcoin dominance. That's the area that we need to re-evaluate. And that's the 43 point zero seven percent level so let's see what happens over the next few days with the dominance right okay so we've got the dxy we talk about the dxy quite a lot on this channel why because we're in tough times and everybody runs into the dollar in times of hardship so we said that we didn't want the break and the close above the hundred and 5.87 level that had signal breakout new local highs for the dollar index and even a stronger rally than what it's previously had so this thing's going through a huge bull run at the moment during times of hardship and negativity people tend to run to the safer assets they run to the dollar they run to gold there's lots of things that they can go into as far as safer off-risk assets are concerned and one thing that they don't tend to go in is crypto so we can only take um little snippets from the crypto market at times where it gives us an opportunity to do so. And we can look at now as potentially one of those opportunities. So what I want to see in the dollar index is certainly not a break and a close above this level, um, which would signal a new high. Um, what I want to see is a reaction, which it seems to be having at the moment. We had a 50%, a, um, a lower 50% bearish candle yesterday and we're currently retesting this area and there's definitely a sell wall and a reaction on the DXY here. So if we do see this pullback, 
then we can see a rally in the crypto market. We can see the opposite in the crypto market. People are coming out of the dollar, going into less, um, sorry, more on-risk assets short term. And then we, when we get to these um, zones, we can reevaluate at this level again. So if we do see weakness and we do see a lower, lower, lower close on the DXY, then that's signaling short-term gains in the crypto market, at least for a few days, possibly weeks. Okay, so that's the DXY. We'll have a quick look at the USDT dominance next. Right, okay, we've got USDT dominance. What clues is the USDT dominance chart going to give us? You see, it's playing out exactly as we predicted previously on the channel. We said that we were not going to get that um, double top like we did on the Dixie. There's a lot more weakness in US dollar tether than there is in the dollar. So we're likely to see less of a reaction in comparison to people going into off-risk assets such as the dollar, gold, and that kind of thing. People are not going to go into US dollar tether. So that's just relative to crypto and it hasn't had as much strength. So we've seen that we've got the break and the close below this area of previous support become resistance come back test it as resistance and we're certainly getting that kind of reaction from that that we talked about so we're likely to come back down if we get the lower low lower close candle signaling that the bears are taking control in the short term to come back down and retest this trend line and when we do come back down and retest this trend line that's going to be a huge plus for the crypto market as that's coming down you'll see the opposite effect with the crypto market where it'll be going up. So that's what we want. We want this major pullback. We can reevaluate when we get to this area. There is an area of support which will act as confluence um, in, in conjunction with the momentum line. So you are likely to get a reaction at this level. However, it does give crypto a good couple of weeks to do that run that it needs and test its previous swing low. So that's the, um, the USDT dominance. We'll have a, a quick look at a couple of altcoins next. Right, first altcoin that I want to show you guys is Ethereum. Ethereum is currently trading at $1,049. I've got the um, Binance chart up here and it's USDT that it's trading against. So Ethereum against USDT. So what I want to see on Ethereum as far as bullish price action is concerned, if we've got any kind of hopium, is for this trend to continue to the upside, we're creating a bit of a wedge pattern here. And what I want to see is a breakout to the upside of this wedge. So if we just mark in our lines, um, problem being is we, we're, we're in the weekend. There's not much movement in the weekend. There's not as much volatility in the weekend. It tends to be driven by retail. Institutions are away at the weekends and we're probably likely to make some kind of a move like this. So what I want to see is, first and foremost, a breakout of this wedge and a close above this wedge. And we can come back and retest as confirmation. And we're likely to go back and retest the previous swing lows at that point. Previous swing lows on Ethereum, 1,710 on this Binance chart. So as far as the hopium is concerned, as far as bullish price action is concerned, over the next coming days, I'd like us to consolidate into this wedge, breakout, confirmation, retest and we can go and test those levels again um, if we do come back to the downside and we're coming back to to retest the previous swing lows you'll get this breakout to the downside uh, retest confirmation of that negative bearish retest and then we're coming back to, 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 to test the lows again so that's what i'm looking at ethereum we'll have a quick look at solana next Right, okay, we've got Solana up on the daily and it's had a huge move to the downside, Solana, and it's created this downwards channel. So it's not trading in the same patterns as what Bitcoin and Ethereum are trading and it's a downwards channel and this can be quite a bullish move sometimes. So if we do see um, positive price action as far as Bitcoin's concerned and a little bit of movement in the market over the coming weeks, this has got huge gains to make. I mean, trading from where it is now to its previous swing lows, you're looking at... Um, 132% gain. So when we do see some kind of bullish price action, Solana is one of the ones it is going to move. So we've had the break and the close out of this downwards channel, and we're currently retesting this area trading at the 33.22, 33.23 level. So current uh, previous price action back in November was uh, around about the 250 level on Solana. So it has bled some. So where we are now, if we stick a Fibonacci tool on there, you'll probably find we're at around about the 618 level retracement. In fact, we're exactly at the 618 level. 
Um, so we've made a retracement here and it's holding this level for the last three days. So if we see a little bit of positive price action as far as Bitcoin is concerned and we manage to get a break and a close above this zone here, that'll signal a shorter term reversal and we can go back and test the previous swing low. So this, uh, the top of this zone is currently signaled at 4306 break and a close above 4306 and a retest back at that level, a little bit of volume in the market wouldn't go amiss, then we can see some huge gains on Solana. But we've got to wait and see if we do manage to make these gains and start making a series of higher highs, higher lows. And remember, it's the weekend, guys, so the chances of making this positive price action in the coming days is pretty slim. It's not to say that it's not going to happen, but this is going to give us a chance to consolidate into these zones before we manage to decide what's going to happen, whether we get a break to the downside or a break to the upside. So we'll have a look at one more. We'll have a look at AVAX next. Right, okay, last one of the day, guys. We've got AVAX. Before we get into AVAX, I just want to thank each and every single one of you guys. I want to thank our 1,000 subscribers. We hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. Every single one of you, I appreciate you all. Much appreciated. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you do like our content, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll know when there's market updates. We'll release them regularly and we'll keep you guys up to date. So hit the notification bell and you'll know exactly when we're releasing our content next. So let's have a look at AVAX. You'll see it's had a bit more of a deeper retracement than what Bitcoin has um, and what Solana has. We're currently testing the 786 level and AVAX is currently trading at $16.34. Previous swing low was $13.72. And we will see that we can add a momentum line to this. Solana has had the breakout. AVAX hasn't. So this, this is what we're looking for. And we can get an idea when there's going to be any kind of momentum, any kind of strength in AVAX, because we're going to get a break of this momentum. We're going to get a retest and we're going to get a confirmation. Whether it be bullish or whether it be bearish, that's what we're looking at. And that's why we like price action to give us clues as to what it's going to do next. And we act upon them clues rather than just guessing whether the price is going to go up or down. So that's what I'm looking at. AVAX, guys, again, thank every single one of our subscribers. Appreciate you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves.